Hey buddies, Some Nuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far, and welcome back for more RL Craft. Today I'm gonna teach you how to cheese the battle towers, and then how I practiced cheesing battle towers when I wanted to do a hardcore run and learn how to do it without dying. So, I, I talked a little bit about this in my grappling hook guide. If you guys haven't seen that and you want to learn how to be a grapple god, then you can check that out. But we're also going to cover some of the similar principles here, although I won't go in, uh, into as much depth on how to use a grappling hook in this. We're going to talk about a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, depending on what you want to achieve, how much of the loot you actually want to get, what stage of the game you're at, etc., etc. Firstly, I'm using commands to spawn these battle towers. Uh, I'll put the command for that in the description below. You'll see it in the bottom left in the chat there, but it's basically just spawn forward slash spawn battle tower coordinates x y z number one to make sure it's a regular upwards battle tower with a golem at the top and false can't remember what that's for but you need it okay so early game you're probably going to want to get as much of the loot as possible maybe at the start of a hardcore run or even just the start of a regular run you want to try and get as much loot without being in danger so we want to be on the side with the chest so normally I like to start climbing uh, one block diagonally away from here on of course the side where the chest is and you want to build up to about slightly higher than where you think the chest is to make it harder for the mobs to see you. And then just mine a couple of blocks into the wall. And you're going to want to build forward so you can get a little bit closer. And, uh, and then you can loot the chest through here. So you can loot the chest through there, grab what you need, grab what you want. Happy days. There will often be more blocks that you can grab to build up a little bit higher if you uh, are limited on blocks. And then just complete, repeat the process. And I believe it's seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe eight. Eight. And then mine here and here. No, I think it was seven. So go seven up, mine there and there. And then you can grab the chest like that. Happy days. Now, if you see any wool, you definitely want to grab it. That is very useful, particularly for something that we're going to show you in just a second as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can loot the chest through there. Easy peasy. Now, normally, I believe it's the fourth floor. You should should probably get some slime slime balls on the fourth floor which is super handy so when before you come up here you probably want to make sure you have a spare iron pickaxe because now what you can do is you can craft yourself a grappling hook and a grappling hook is really useful in this circumstance in case you get knocked off like a skeleton shoots you and you need to save your life also you got the water bucket for that so i may even be clever clever to just put water down at the bottom of where you are in case you get hit off but if you're doing it this way like this you know it's pretty safe here uh, and uh, you should hopefully not get shot by any of the zombies uh skeletons and then pretty much you can just rinse and repeat all the way to the top of the tower apart from obviously the last two floors so make sure you take note of when you're getting to the last two floors now, if you're either already gotten all of the rest of the loot for, apart from the last two floors, or you're simply just not that fussed about the loot in the rest of the tower and you just want to get the top two floors worth of loot, the easiest way to do that, I think, is with a grappling hook. So you're just going to grapple your way up the back, again, making sure that it's the side that the chests are on. Now, when you get to the top, you want to be careful because if you step onto this row of blocks, the golem will aggro, and then these these will be these this will be harder to do. But basically, once you get to the top here, you want to place blocks on top of this. Now, once you got your blocks like this, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can well, we're going to be using the carry on mod to pick up the chest. Now, I crouch with control and sprint with shift, and I'm shift right-clicking to pick up this chest. You need to be pretty close to it, like within one and a half blocks to be able to do it. You'll see if I'm back here, I won't be able to do it. Oh, well, okay. Well, huh, okay, well, that's about the range that you can do it then. And then what I usually do is I'll put the chest down here, and I'll pick this one up, and I'll put the chest down here. Now you want to be careful because if you if you just right click and open this then obviously he'll aggro if you want to be particularly safe you can always just put a block on top if you feel the need to and then i'll drop my grappling hook 
and shift and right click grab the chest go down place the chest there go back up quickly Shift and right click on the next one. Now again, you can open chests from further away. So if you're like too far away and you try and do it, you'll open the chest, he'll aggro. So you want to be nice and close. Shift and right click. Get your grappling first down. Get your grappling hook down first. Shift and right click to grab this. Go all the way down. Place the chest. And then you can open it and grab all your juicy loot. Happy days. Now, getting the next floor loot is a little bit sketchier because obviously there's spawners in there that you probably haven't cleared. Now, a couple of things you can do. You can grapple down, or if you've already built, you can build, build, uh, climb down and mine through the wall and then mine the spawners on either side. That's one option. So you can just sort of drop down like this and hopefully you're in the right place. Oh, that's a little bit of a sketchy spot. I mean, you could even use have slabs on you, so you could just put it, fill it in with slabs. But if you mine in a, if you go in a spot like this, then you can just mine the spawner, and then you can pretty much just do the exact same thing. It obviously does take quite a while to mine the spawner though with an iron pickaxe, and while you're hanging, so you could put something under your feet as well to make it easier, so that you're not uh, like having the in air negative. So that'll be a little bit faster. Or, one, another way of doing it is if you put water at the bottom, like I've got water down there, you can just kind of be a bit cheeky, grab it to the side, and just... <laughs> oh shit, no, this is a bad idea. <laughs> I actually put water on both sides, just to be careful. <laughs> Honestly, this is, this is a worse idea. Now, if you want to be really quick and sneaky, and you're trying to be faster and you you less care about being careful uh i would recommend doing this the penultimate the second to last floor first because less mobs will have spawned but basically what you can do is you can get here and just jump on this ledge make sure you're being a little bit careful you got to get close pick up the chest and you can have water placed down here you can literally just grab the chest and eat out so again that's a slightly riskier way of doing it but it is worth the juicy, juicy loot. Now, I'll show you another way of doing things that I know some people use. Um, and it's not my preferred way of doing it. I don't I do not do it this way, but I do know some other people do it this way. So I might as well show you a couple of different options and you can decide what works best for you. But get to the top. Um, you can get a grappling hook pretty much every time you go to a battle tower because they give you string and uh, slime. You'll just need to make sure you have a little bit of iron for the pickaxe. Now, once you get up here... It's probably safer to block this off, just in case. Um, but it's not necessary. You can't just do it from back here. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to use a barrel and a hopper. Because the barrel the, the barrel doesn't aggro the golem. So you could literally just place that there. Place that there. And then you can slowly but surely hopper all the items out of there. And then what you can do while you're waiting... I think it's 10 you want to go down. Or 9. Wait, 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, and then you can mine these ones here. Land yourself in here. And you can pretty much just go like this. Get rid of these, get rid of that. Maybe get rid of this. You could block this off if you want. Just be a little bit more safe. And then put the barrel here. Hopper there. And the zombies in the way. Hopper there. That'll be hoppering the items into the barrel. And then while you wait for that, you can go back up. Grab your loot from this barrel. Happy days. And then once this one's finished filling up, you can grab your loot from here. Simple as that. So I had completely finished this video, had it edited, uploaded, tagged, and scheduled. And then good buddy Dad Bod Rock City reminded me that I actually forgot some stuff in this. 
And so we're back a couple of days later to finish this off for you. There's a couple of things that we that we didn't talk about, and I want to show you those now. So the first one is that you can dip your weapons in potions. This is this is a potion of random teleport. You put the potion in there, and then you dip your weapon in it. And then this now has random teleport 8 out of 64 hits remaining. You can put more potion in there and put more potion on it, it looks like. Because it says 8 out of 64. But I haven't really done this much myself, to be honest. But I do know that it's a thing. And then we can make our way to the top here. And go... Boop. And he's gone now. We can loot the chest. And we could run down and try and loot the bottom chest. Or do whatever we're going to do. But that gets rid of the tower golem. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Where is he? Where is he? Alright, now this next one is probably going to be more relevant by the time you've got a flying mount. Um, and should probably quickly show you how to make that potion of teleport. So the potion of teleport that you put in the cauldron is you want to make the random teleport too because it gets them further away i believe but you need an ender eye and you need thick potion and a thick potion is made with bone mushroom spores bone mushroom spores you can get off of bones in the nether so it's not the earliest of game things you got to get yourself to the nether get some bone mushroom spores we can probably get in get some spores get out hopefully without uh, being attacked it's definitely possible but uh, perhaps a little bit sketchy then you throw uh, then you throw an ender eye in there then you throw some glow glowstone in there to get the random teleport too. So that's for that. The next on the list is the uh, teleport arrows, which are crafted with an ender uh, ender pearl as well. Uh, and this is probably going to be easiest when you've got a mount, like a rock as an example. So perhaps you got a rock early game before you're ready to fight golems still. You can get yourself a switch bow and create te uh, arrows of teleport and it switches places. Oh, he killed my bird. Bruh. And it switches places with you and the target. If you do it a little bit further away, obviously, then he'll be a little bit further away and hopefully won't be attacking you. Uh, but you can open the chest here like that. Happy days. All right, now I haven't actually attempted this before, but let's let's see if we can do a little cheeky thing here. Because obviously, once you've got a flying mount, you're going to be getting close to the point where you can fight the golem anyway. All right, so we're going to try something cheeky here. We're on the lip of the tower, and we're going to... Pull our bow back. We're gonna jump backwards. Hey! -ah! Oh, it didn't quite work. Oh, did it? Oh, it did. And he kind of blew up the chest for us, but we can just scoop up the loots. Happy days. And we might even have time to grab this loot. Grab the loots. Got shot once. Oh, we stuck in the thing. And yeah, so we can get out quite easily like that as well. So we can get both floors loot. But well, we don't want to go say hi to him. So we will probably want to go the other side. <laughs> uh, either way, though. That is th that way of doing that. That could work as well. And finally, we've got one of the lazier ways of doing things. Because explosions don't blow up items, but they do blow up chests. So you can kind of just get this guy angry. And just kind of go like this. And he should blow himself up down the tower. Slowly but surely, making his way down the tower here. And then if we fly off and de-aggro him... There he is. Hey, buddy. May well be a good opportunity for us to scoop up the loot from the top. And grab grab all the juicy loots. Grab all the juicy loots. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Thank you, thank you. In fact, at this point, the spawners may not even be spawning because, as you can see, the light levels from the broken walls now are quite high. So the spawners might not be spawning. This way is a little bit... The loot might be a little bit scattered. Oh, oh god, that's a blight. And you don't want to jump into blights, but you can still grab a good portion of the loot. I could probably have gotten more of it there as well. Use water buckets to push things out of the way or push things further down. You can grab them safer. That is more of a lazy, scrappy strategy, but it's definitely one that I've used in the past. All right, now I think that... <laughs> look at all the battle towers. I think that is most of the ways that we can do cheesy things with battle towers and get some pretty free loot. If I've forgotten anything, please let me know in the comments. Now, one final thing to note is that sometimes, obviously, the chests can be locked. This is a locked chest. You wouldn't necessarily know that unless you'd seen the front of it. So you'd probably have put these on top here and then realized 
you know, at this point it's locked and you can't move a locked chest. But you can unlock a locked chest from behind it. You don't actually need to uh, right click the lock itself. And now I should be able to pick that up. Just like that. Just as a final side note. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I think is pretty much all you need to know to learn how to cheese battle towers. So good luck out there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer. If there's any uh, tips that you guys have that I haven't mentioned or thought of, uh, please feel free to put those and I might include them into a pinned comment. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts.